Welcome to Age of Noob everyone, and to a long-awaited Age of Empires 2 game mechanics video. Although a bit later than other creators, I was able to get my hands on the new upcoming Dynasties of India DLC yesterday, so I will be doing a lot of testing in the next few days. Today, we're taking a look at the new change to the Vietnamese unique tech, Paper Money. I will have a comprehensive video covering the new civilizations as well, but for now, let's see if the new Paper Money is worth it to research. Let's dive right in. Alright, let's look into the raw stats first. As you all know, paper money for the Vietnamese is the Imperial Age unique upgrade that costs 500 food and 300 wood today and gives 500 gold to the player and any allies. It used to be a meme technology as it costed 800 food and 200 gold before, which wasn't good. With the new upcoming Dynasties of India DLC though, we're getting a significant rework. The new paper money now costs 600 wood and 350 gold, which is a fundamental change given that now we have to spend gold again to begin trickling it in with our lumberjacks. Well, we're going to have to test out how many lumberjacks is the technology worth it to pick up at and what the payback times look like. Since paper money is an imperial age unique technology, I'm going to assume that every player should have bow saw and hand cart researched by that point of the game. One lumberjack with bow saw and hand cart on a very efficient wood line can collect wood at roughly 32 wood per minute. Over the course of collecting 500 wood over 15 minutes and 40 seconds, only 19 gold was collected. This means that one villager with paper money research can collect roughly 1.2 gold per minute. For reference, one relic is able to generate 30 gold per minute and, in that same time frame, would have generated 470 gold. If we do some straight math, this means that we'd need roughly 25 lumberjacks with paper money to generate the gold of a singular relic. But we all know that it's never that simple, so let's dive a bit deeper. First of all, know that the gold generation mechanic doesn't work the same as the wood collection. As long as the lumberjack is chopping, then gold is technically being generated, as it's not reliant on the wood being dropped off at all. This means that inefficient wood lines will still generate less gold due to increased walk time. That said, this begs the question of whether the gold trickle is tied to the chopping duration or the chopping speed. In other words, does researching two-handed saw increase the gold generation or have no effect at all? Well, a Vietnamese villager with two-handed saw can collect wood at roughly 35 wood per minute. And over the course of collecting the same 500 wood in a shorter 14 minutes and 18 seconds, we got the same 19 gold. This means that, yes, the gold collection rate is directly tied to the wood collection rate of the villager, and two-handed saw improved both the wood and gold collection rate by roughly 9% on an efficient wood line. This means that a fully upgraded Vietnamese villager with paper money researched can collect roughly 1.33 gold per minute. Alright, now that we know the gold generation mechanic and the baseline numbers, let's take a look at the payback times and whether or not this technology is worth it to research. In games where you are in the Imperial Age and at least have one castle, it's safe to say that you should have at least 20 lumberjacks by that point to sustain some farming and production. So we'll start there. Hence, I've set up a test in which 20 lumberjacks chop on Arabian woodlines with some lumber camp refreshes to mimic normal gameplay. I'll also separate them into a wood line of 10 each for efficiency. And finally, we'll start the test with villagers having both bow saw and handcart research as both of them should be realistically picked up by that point of the game. After having 20 lumberjacks to chop on two separate wood lines for 15 whole minutes and refreshing their lumber camps once each, they were able to average roughly 545 wood and 22 gold per minute. Hence, in more practical scenarios with more crowded wood lines and villager bumping, this brings down the gold per minute per villager down from 1.2 gold per minute to 1.09 gold per minute. Okay, let's run the same scenario but with two-handed saw research as well. 20 fully upgraded Vietnamese lumberjacks were able to average roughly 594 wood per minute and 24 gold per minute. As expected, this practical test concludes that each villager generates 1.2 gold per minute instead of the super efficient 1.33 gold per minute that I mentioned earlier. So those are all just numbers. What do they mean in terms of payback time and whether or not it's actually worth it? Well, with handcart and bosa research, the numbers look awful. Even if we assume that we don't care about the hefty 600 wood cost and just want to recoup the 350 gold cost of the technology, it takes roughly 17 minutes, 12 minutes, and 9 minutes for 20, 30, and 40 lumberjacks respectively. And this is assuming you have decently efficient wood lines that late into the game. The numbers with 200 saw are slightly better, but still awful regardless, with payback times at roughly 16, 11, and 8 minutes using the same logic. If we include the 600 wood cost into this equation, the numbers just get comical. We're talking over 20 minutes at 40 lumberjacks post-imperial. Technically, 600 wood isn't as important as 350 gold that late into the game, but hear me out. Let's look at this from another lens. Let's assume the worst case scenario in which market prices are bottomed out at 14 gold per 100 wood. There are two options here. Option one is to sell the 600 wood for 84 gold from the market and keep the 350 gold you already had, which means you end up with 434 gold to use right now. 
Option two, on the other hand, is to invest in paper money with, say, best case scenario of 40 efficient lumberjacks, wait one minute for the research to complete, wait nine minutes to get back your initial 350 gold investment, and wait another 10 minutes to get an additional 434 gold. So, in other words, you can let go of 600 wood now and have 434 gold immediately, or you let go of both 600 wood and 350 gold now and get 434 gold after 20 whopping minutes with best case scenario of 40 lumberjacks. You have to be insane to take this deal. It's absolutely garbage. How many normal games do you know that lasts an additional 30 minutes after mid-imperial age? And remember, I assumed the worst case scenario for the market at 14 gold per 100 wood, and even then that's the better option. In short, the new paper money is trash. Unless you're playing an ultra late game on a map with abundant wood such as Black Forest or Arena, just don't pick up paper money. This rework is definitely a nerf, as the previous version of the technology at least had some niche use cases in certain large team games, whereas now it's almost exclusive to 2 hour Black Forest or Forest Nothing games. Well, that's all you need to know about the new paper money in the upcoming Dynasties of India DLC for Age of Empires 2. If there are other game mechanics that you'd like me to explore for the new DLC, kinda let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoy this type of analytical content for Age of Empires 2 or Age of Empires 4, be sure to like and subscribe as there's a lot more on the way. And thank you once more to all of you who support me on Patreon. As always, thanks for watching everyone, don't even dare to recommend paper money to your friends anymore, and see you all in the next one.